What's up my creeps? How the heck are you guys? So today I got a special treat for you guys. I am coming to you live from Washington Park, which is Southwest Portland. And today we're going to take you guys to the International Rose Test Garden. So let's go down here and check out all these beautiful roses. Beautiful day for it. And there is a plethora, if you will, of beautiful roses here and little monuments and art pieces set up. So we're going to creep down here, if you will, and check out some of these beautiful roses. So my last vlog had me cracking up this morning because I re-watched it and I realized how many times in the vlog that I said, wow, wow. And me and my nephew got a really good kick out of that. So hopefully I won't say that word too much today, but some of these roses are super, super impressive. It smells so incredibly good in here, you guys. Just absolutely gorgeous through here. Wow, the smells coming off of these. Absolutely beautiful. In fact, let's do that kind of work. Mm. Ridiculously good. If you guys can see here on the ground, They've got them listed. Who the growers are, what year. And if you look down inside there real closely, you can actually see what they're called. That was awesome. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep, this is the way. I believe this is one of the Stuarts of Portland. Let's read this. Oh, a royal Rosarian have been served as the official greeters, ambassadors, and goodwill for the city of Portland. Very cool. Hats off to you, my friend. If you guys can see the placards, been stepped on a little bit, it's a little grimy, but. For you, a rose in Portland grows. Along the pathways in the Royal Rosarian Garden are the Prime Minister's plaques. Adjacent to each plaque is the rose under which the Prime Minister was knighted. Cool. So that's what those little placards were I showed you guys. Let's creep through here and check out these. Wow, look at the size of some of these roses, man. This place is enormous. I really didn't realize actually how many different roses they had up here. There's a gentleman that just won an award for most rare and original postal stamp for one of his roses that he actually grew the seed um, that he I believe is from Amsterdam originally um, but he grew one of the, the roses here in Oregon he was actually the Grand Marshal for our Rose City Parade Portland Oregon and it won and it's actually on one of the postal uh, stamps now so maybe we can Find some more information on that, but absolutely beautiful. Excuse me, I have a question for you. Sure. I do a vlog for YouTube, but I was I was curious as to 
Do you have any more information on the rows that won for the Coastal Stamp Service? There was like a, a very rare rose that made actually one of the Postal Service um, stamps recently. He was actually the Grand Marshal for the Floral Parade. <laughs> Really? Um, I can't think yeah. of the gentleman's name, so I want to give him due diligence on the credit. But I, I really apparently, he grew know. the rose in his backyard. Um, oh yeah! It was like a white rose of some sort. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I really don't know. Yeah. I mean, I saw it at the rose show, but yeah, I so it's it super called. rare. But I don't think there's any out here. But these are absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? And this is so cool for you guys to have all these people out here and giving the info and it's just what a beautiful day for this oh yeah it's really zen i mean you get i wish i had smell of vision though because oh, yeah, like yeah. the smell coming off you of these is just on amazing that, that, uh, on the, the hill up there. yeah and you, you just stand there and the smell just wafts it's like wafts it she it's like oh. putting a fresh baked pie like, on the window seal like, or you're, something you're heaven, <laughs> you know, that's but, awesome yeah the colors and the uh sunlight the birds singing and oh yeah Absolutely gorgeous. So I didn't realize how big this place was either. I've lived yeah. in Oregon my whole life, but really? and I've been up here a, a few times when I was younger. But oh, wow. when when you're a kid, you don't really appreciate yeah, it as much. True. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? So, yeah, I've talked to people who so. have now never been to many many spots. What's your favorite rose up here? Barbara Streisand. Oh, the Barbara. Let's go check that out. It's over. Um, you know where the Queen's Walk is? I'm not familiar, okay, actually. I'm just keep going down this walkway. Okay. The dead ends on a wall. It's got to be That's cool if it's Queen's called walk. that, though. <laughs> it's got the the uh, tiles with all the queen's names. Oh, interesting. And the this year's queen is in this little sort of um, cutout right there. Okay. But Barbara Streisand, you're facing that wall, and you look to the left, and it's a sort of a purple one. Oh, okay. Is that like her favorite row. color, or what? What? What's hints the name? She chose the oh. rose. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like interesting. There's even a Julia Child rose. Oh, cool. I loved yeah, watching yeah. her cook when I with my grandma when I was yeah. a kid. She, she had wine to like everything pretty much. Oh yeah. <laughs> Save the exactly. <laughs> Save the wine and drink the. <laughs> That's hilarious. So let's check that out. Where's that at? Uh, if you go down to the Queen's Walk. Okay. The last row of roses. Okay. And you look at that end. Well, I could walk you down. Yeah, that'd be great. If you're not busy, I'd... You know the layout very well. Yeah. What's your name? Run one Carolyn. quick question. Christopher. Does pruning like this... Nice to meet you. ...cause them to keep blooming? Yes, that's why we're doing it, because it's a show garden. Got it. So they'll, they'll bloom for how long? Till, um, till frost? I feel like uh, I've been out here... I've been here a year. And last year, I think they, they quit around... August or September. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I did That's a long time. So this is this is really their peak. They're really really happy right now. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful day for this. Oh, yeah. Sorry Not at all. I love having all the tidbit of information, of course. I really appreciate all the questions. It's cool. Let's head down here. Okay, yeah, let's check out the Barbara Streisand rose, huh? It smells so sweet. Does it? Right on. Yeah, I figured if I asked somebody that worked here, they would know yeah, the best. That's my favorite. Although there's another. I don't know if it's here, but I saw it at the rose show. Okay. It's called um, Sugar Moon. And that one is white. Okay. Yeah, the one that won the postal stamp, if I do recall, it was a white one. I can't remember the exact name. Maybe it's like a tiger stripe one or I'm something. Not I don't really know. This is cool too, this little like art piece. Yeah. <laughs> so is this considered the Queen's Walk? Uh, that's the Queen's Walk okay. down there. We're sort of headed. Oh, I see. Here. Cool. It looks like the Queen's Walk. And right? you said your name was Carolyn? Yes, that's nice right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, we just moved here last year. Yeah, it's beautiful up here right now. Yeah. Normally I do like roadside oddities and kind of just more Portland weird stuff, but this oh, yeah. is too beautiful to pass up. And anybody that... Mill Ends Park? I have done Mills End yeah. Park and they actually just... Uh, I wanted to go back and redo it because the the city actually considered it the world's smallest park, but they actually put a little placard in now, and they actually we have the it. little sign. So yeah. Portland Parks Bureau out here is really on point with that. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> they actually, yeah, they put in an actual Portland Park sign, mm -hmm. which yeah. I thought was hilarious. I mean, people put their little trinkets and knickknacks in there, anyways. Like, yeah. they actually considered it the a leopard uh, a leprechaun colony. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, look at somebody actually wrote. Smell the roses. Of course, that's like the best thing. You bet. That's like one of the first things I did was 
I had to. I mean, like you said, they're wafting. I put my nose right in. <laughs> oh wow, these are impressive. I'm always taking pictures of them. I'm gonna Amazing. Look, Look how beautiful yeah. these are. God, no kidding. Those things are amazing. Look how beautiful it goes. Let's walk down this way. Okay, cool. So, Creepers, we lucked out and we got our own little uh, official escort here, if you will. <laughs> Love it. Talking about a Rose Ambassador of Portland, huh? All you need is the hat now. Well, I like your hat that you have on too, by the way. That's like the P what the PDX carpet. It's cool. Yeah, this is just amazing up here. I mean, I knew it was going to be beautiful, but I honestly forgot about the smell. Candy cane cocktail, huh? Cool. And I have to say, it's good to see the bees. Oh yeah. They were talking the other night about the bees having having a lot of trouble right now, and that's if you have listened to Einstein at all, he'll he's the first to tell you the bees very important. Yeah. My nephews were worried the other day because the bee was around the backyard. I said they're totally harmless. They they're for us, you know. Well, we they're on our side. Yeah, well, we were at the cool lavender festival this weekend. Yeah. Oh, I bet you that smells amazing. Yeah, it was really cool. That lavender smells amazing. Mm -hmm. But these roses give it a run for their money, I have to say. Okay, so Rose Festival's Queen Walk. Cool. Very cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. That's beautiful. I love that color. It's like a, like a off lavender almost. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh wow, no Isn't kidding. That, that is amazing. I gotta go back in. You bet. Yeah, so I wow, can that's better than any like fragrance together. you could buy at Nordstrom. Yeah, you <laughs> you know bet. Have you like, seen the peppermint flower uh, roses out there? They are so cool, aren't, aren't they? they cool? Which ones were you looking at? It's called peppermint. the Neil Diamond. Oh cool. <laughs> the peppermint the Neil Diamond. Way cool. Now is there an official <laughs> sign for these as well? Yeah, uh, right. Oh, yeah, right there. That's cool. No, she'll let her film or let her smell there. there. Yeah, no, try saying. Cool. Yeah, that's that's got to be my fave. Yeah, that one smells absolutely amazing. Well, there was a yellow one that had uh, a, a lemony smell. It was really, really? A different scent. That's cool. Some, like you said, some are citrusy or yeah. some are citrusy. Somebody, um, the actual like botanical. What, what's it called when it has like a, a fair, not a pheromone, but a, some sort of, um, like when they resemble like different, different citruses, citruses and like lemon and yes. they start oh, okay. to, um, um, feminine, uh, uh, it's I, right I, on the I, tip of my tongue, fem yes, phenoms yes. or something like right, that, where right. they begin to take on the smells the of smell things of that they're, the exactly, yes. exactly, oh, yeah. uh, I can't think of it. Creepers, chime in in the comment section and let me know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> We're lost for words right now, yes, but. I think we all are. So see, this is the Queen's Walk. Yeah, this is cool. Yes. Oh, and then it's got them signed too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Way cool. It goes all the way to Wow, the, uh, 1916. Yeah, to the early, early 20s. Wow, 1915. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I love how they signed them too. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So now, and then this goes, how far down does this go? All the way to 2018? Yeah, this is the 2018 oh, wow. Queen. Yeah, Queen Kira, I saw her on, on uh, when the Queen Six did the, the crowning of her. That's cool. Yeah. And then does she pick her own rose or do they, do they assign like assign one for them? Like, how does that? Well, actually what she, what the Queens do, they're, they're like uh, community ambassadors. Oh, cool. You know, it's, it's a really rigorous um, selection process and they're chosen for their community involvement, for their for their academic, you know, ac excellence. And she's, uh, you know, she's acting as the uh, the city's um, like ambassador type, if you will. Yeah, that's really cool. Very cool. Thank you so much for taking me down here and do your thing. Okay, Carolyn, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. I appreciate it. How would I see your? Um, yeah, definitely check me out on YouTube. It's Clearski. With a K. K-L-E-A-R-S-K-I. As soon as you plug it in, it 
hopefully it should pop okay. up. So Thanks a lot. you're welcome. Thank you so much for your time, Carolyn. Nice to meet you. Same here. I'm gonna check out the rest of these. Wow, creepers! That was super nice of her to take time out of her day and give us all those cool little tidbits. And here's her favorite rose, the Barbara Streisand. That's so funny. And like you guys heard what she said, they have a bunch of roses dedicated. Here's the Veterans Honor Rose. Wow, that one's beautiful too. And I bet that smells amazing. Wow, definitely not as potent as the Barbara Streisand Rose, but definitely beautiful. Yeah, this place is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pink Iceberg. Some of the names of these are super cool too. I want to go up here and check out this. Some of the size of these ones up here are just ridiculously awesome. Everybody's out and about enjoying their day. These cool little Oh this is cool. They've got like a like a stadium almost setting. Have live music or performances down there. That's cool. This place is ridiculously cool. And like I was telling her, I wish that they had some sort of way you guys could smell how beautiful it is too. It smells so good. And the fragrance, the fragrance that come off of them isn't overwhelming. I mean, you could, you could wear it. I mean, like a perfume or, wow, look at how beautiful these red ones are. These are absolutely amazing. Let's get a good shot of these reds.